Welcome back to Bay Area People. Women's soccer wasn't an Olympic sport until 1996. That year in Atlanta, the U.S. took home the gold. This year, of course, the matches take place in Brazil. And you can't talk about women's soccer in Brazil without talking about Cece. She is regarded as one of the best women's soccer players in the history of the game. And she, as well as fellow Olympian and World Cup player Marcia Tafaro, are now coaching young athletes right here in the Bay Area. Spend any amount of time at one of Coach Cece's practices and you will hear her intensity. Simple, simple. But you will also hear her joy and her passion. Finish. Oh, I'm not playing. Next. Cece is one of those few people in the world who can simply go by one name. Her full name is Cece Lady Lima do Amor. So if you go to Brazil and say, Hey, I, I would like to talk to Cis Lady. People are going to look at you and say, who? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> but if we say Cece. Yeah, probably people, a lot of people know. <laughs> they know because she's a legend and a pioneer in the Brazil's soccer world. She was on Brazil's first World Cup team. She was on the first Olympic team and the second. And as far as recognition, there are too many awards to list. Seven goals in 99 second best player with Su En from China. That was the silver ball as well. So that's my two babies outside. Oh, that is yeah. really heavy. It is. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it. I left it on the mantle along with all the other trophies, but Cece is now being recognized as both player and coach. How do you describe yourself? Oh, I'm trying to find that. I still struggle with that identity. Cece's soccer story begins at the age of seven in Brazil when soccer was just for boys. I was seven years old. Um, I saw my dad and my brother play in the backyard. The way that I found to be able to do, like even play was I decided to go and use my doll's head. My mom thought I was crazy. I think that's when my dad realized, oh yeah, she, she was born with a gift. A gift that had her leaving home at the age of 14 after a coach spotted her in a game. Her dream took her all over the world, and it introduced her to Tafa. We are the pioneers of women's soccer in Brazil. Both are pioneers, friends, coaches, and teammates, but they first met on opposing teams. We were rivals. I was playing against her, and I had to mark her. <laughs> Two years after, we became teammates in the national team, so we became BFFs, like we say, best friends. I played two World Cups and one Olympic Games. So the, the first World Cup, the first Olympic Games for female soccer, I was there. Both women will tell you being a pioneer isn't easy. Let's get the soccer ball again, girls. Discrimination had Tafa wanting to quit early on, but her mother changed her mind. You gonna be the one that needs to hear all these hurtful things and keep going for the other ones that come after, not to have that in their lives. So I got that and I said, you are right, mom. And so many have come after. Still, while things are improving in Brazil, it is the U.S. that welcomed them, from soccer legends like Brandi Chastain. She's a special, um, dear friend. When you see the environment for the, for the women's soccer here, and you look at the environment of women's soccer in Brazil, you, you don't want to go back. Stop it, stop three, one, two, three, again! Here, Cece is raising her son, Michael. Michael came to my life when he was two days old. He, by the way, likes soccer, but... He wants to be a basketball player. I want to play for the Warriors, like, really? She laughs, but she doesn't mind. Take a touch, go to go, go to go, go to go. Finish! Oh! Next ball! Because while the love of soccer runs deep, both she and Tafa will tell you it's about much more. So you're gonna go over the ball, then you turn. Okay, so now you are not using the pullback. You are using the step over, turn, and dribble with the same foot that you were dribbling before. We do a lot of fun stuff, and she really teaches us how to play soccer. It's about Good. passing on the passion. That is same. 12 years now, still playing, even at age 49. When are you gonna retire? I keep saying I'm gonna retire this year. I, you know, I don't see myself without soccer. It's kind of interesting. The more I play, the more I want to keep playing. But my body is already telling me, hey, I think that's the time that maybe this year.
Both women now coach for the Walnut Creek Soccer Club, and both coach very young players. Here you feel that the little ones can dream and they can pursue that dream. Away from each other, don't crash. Good. In these girls, they say they see themselves. We are the best. You know it, you know it, you just don't want to show it. Go Walnut Creek! Girls who simply love playing the game. I love it, it's my passion and girls who only need to look at their coaches to know impossible dreams can come true. Oh, yeah, one!